I started in 1957. I went to barber school just after I got out of the Navy. And I went to the Bob Barber School in Boston. I graduated and uh, I started to work for Peter Metropolis on Merrimack Street. I worked for Peter for three years. I bought him out. I was there another five years. There was a fire in the building. I had to move. I moved to uh, 412 Suffolk Street. I was there for about 38 years and the building was bought and it was remodeled and I had to move, luckily, around the corner. And uh, I, I, was, I was there till present. And uh, 81 and 56, it's, it's time to go. So that's it. What did you enjoy most about being a part of? The people. Oh. Very social job. Oh, I loved it. Loved it. I, 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 they were all friends. Like I said, they were all friends of mine. I, I, I love, I, you know, some people hate going to work. I didn't. I love coming to work. And I set my own hours, you know. I, I worked late in the beginning in the early years, but uh, near the end I was working just six and a half hours, 8.30 to 3.00. And I, I was off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and just worked Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You know, unfortunately, I had that uh, open heart surgery that set me back. Otherwise, I might have still been gone. <laughs> so, you took your act on the road. You mentioned earlier to the well, hospital. I, I, I've given head to the hospital, hospital many, many times. Time. Never, never charged, charged anyone. anyone. They, they had, had enough problems. They, you don't have to worry about paying me, and uh, also some, some home uh, haircuts that I didn't charge. And, uh, but, but like I said earlier, uh, some people insist on paying. Tell us some of your prominent clients over here. Well, uh, Eddie Elijah was a steady customer. Former state representative. Yes, Ed Early, former register for the Bees. Uh, Nicholas Vigadas. Judge, uh, Paul Fitzgerald, Judge, and Paul. Oh, well, I, I had the, uh, the the chief of the, the chief of police, Jack Sheehan, and his and also his brothers. Uh, Steve of Energy Chargers was a, a dear friend. I uh, I grew up with his father in, in the early years. This is uh, part of the bill. bill. Uh, but, but there's so many others, others that, that walk by. Of course, Tassi Pulius. Our acre favorite. favorite. And let's see. Of course, George Krakus. I got George, George, Krakis, I, uh, George had come in to see me a few times. And I also grew up with George, George in uh, Market Street many years ago. Look, 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 look what happened to him. him. Nothing. <laughs> when I started cutting hair, uh, the haircuts were a dollar fifteen. Mostly crew cuts and buzz cuts, right? Crew cuts, but any kind of haircut. Shaves were a dollar. Facials were a dollar fifty. And uh, but people got haircuts every two weeks in those days. It made a big difference, you know. So and a shoe shot. Yeah, you had, and you had to get that shoe shot if you're going to the dance. And as the years went by, you, you mentioned when the Beatles came oh, along. That was when a tougher the, time. Yeah, People when, wore their hair longer. Yeah, when the Beatles came along, uh, they did a job on my business. And uh, I hung on. Thank God I hung on because it was something I loved doing. And then it came back. And then I had to hire another barber, and uh, we did well. We did well. We, we didn't get rich, but we did well. I've accomplished everything I've ever wanted to accomplish, believe me when I tell you, you know. Serve my country, my own home, my business, my cars paid for, my children are, are doing well. I mean, what more can I ask for? And my grandchildren are doing great also. So it's, it's been fun all the way. Finally, tell us what you're going to be doing in your retirement for leisure. You, you have a lot of activities. Well, I expect to spend a little more time with the Greek American veterans and I meet uh, a group on uh, Monday they call it the uh, 
pizza club and we reminisce and there's uh, a lot of retirees there except for one of us now he's still working he's a veteran agent for Drake it pressure's on for him to quit now right well he's the only one well <laughs> he does a great job so he's needed but it's hard to give up it's hard to give up you know people say hey it's about time yeah I know it's about time it's been about time <laughs> but it's about time for you but not for me <laughs> no I'm gonna miss it but like I said earlier I'll, I'll be giving the family haircuts and things like that keep my fingers in a pie